welcome everyone back to episode three or part three whatever you want to call it to farmville zoo and in today's episode we're going to be doing some decorations i'm going to be sprucing everything up and making it look like it would be well as realistic as possible and to do that we've got to do some certain things remember this zoo is called farmville zoo we need to add farm elements we need to add crop fields we need to add um apple trees we need to add stuff what you, well what you would see in a farm because remember it is a petting zoo but we're trying to give the impression that one way they do make the money apart from the petting zoo tickets to access the petting zoo uh, for guests is growing crops and harvesting those crops and selling those crops so that's the impression i want to give and it's a typical kind of like backdrop of, of a british countryside lane that i've done here with two bodies of water on each side which i did show in last episode and what we're going to do we're just going to spruce everything up so we're going to add this lovely brick wall now these this is off the steam workshop page and we're just going to put that all around the edge of this path very tedious very annoying but it had to be done to give that authentic look and do you know what even though this is going to be a very small zoo for around seven animals and they're all going to be small habitats because it is a petting zoo Honestly, the amount of items, the amount of the piece count what's going to be in this zoo just from stuff like this, from decorations, is going to be absolutely insane. I thought, oh, a nice little easy project. No, I have dove into the deep end and now it's turning into a, quite a big project. Uh, maybe not as big as New Tropic Zoo. I don't know if you've not seen that series. It is a modern zoo based in the grasslands of Africa. And we've done a full 360. And this zoo is a traditional zoo based in um, the countryside of Britain. Like an authentic British farm zoo, petting zoo. So yeah, a massive jump in, in the way I build. And I really wanted to challenge myself and do something different. And uh, do you know what? I'm really enjoying it. And... I didn't think I would. I needed a new project anyway to create content on to show you guys and hopefully you watch it, enjoy it and maybe even learn something for it, from it. But I'm really enjoying building something different and doing something quite authentic. I have to kind of stop myself sometimes and think, no, that doesn't work. I need to stay with the theme. Why are you adding modern aspects when it's not a modern zoo? I've just got to get out of the way of thinking. I, I, it's just me. It's my brain. It's the way my brain works. Right, our first farm patch is being added. Very basic fence, as you can see, we're just using the logs. These, I believe, are the logs actually out the habitat climbing enrichment items. And we haven't got any really thin logs apart from in that category, apart from... So if you do want this, forget about the construction pieces. If you want thin logs, just jump into the habitat um, enrichment items, the climbable items, and you will see these thin logs. And they just work really well. Adding layers now and making sure that they're all in a line as well to make it look like it would be functional if it was in real life. Adding some dirt and kind of create little nuggets here of, of scenes is what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to create a little path what goes on off from the main road. So it looks like you would have access to this farm area. And we're just going to kind of corner that off. We're going to add a gate and all that good stuff. And yeah, that's what I really wanted to do to the lead up to this petting zoo is create kind of like little scenes on the way um really like I, w I wouldn't say like magnificent wow look at that but kind of oh that's beautiful but make sure everything blends in as well we want everything to blend well and it's a really thing it's a thing what i really wanted to concentrate in building this is making sure everything blends everything flows and everything look like it would look in real life and by the way what is this what is that building piece never seen it in my life until i've just found it right now while i was building this it's like a fake wood panel wall i've never actually seen that i don't know where it's come from sometimes i'll just go through the construction um menu and i'll think well where were all hey up oh yeah oh, 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 where's that come from and honestly I, I've, I've got over three thousand hours in this game and i'm still finding new things and new ways how to use the new things so yeah if you've ever seen that before let me know if you know where it's from is it part of an update or is it part of a pack i really don't know but yeah it, it looks good i don't know what i'd actually use it for but it did look pretty decent right creating a little fence in here we're using the same fence what we used in the um in the actual petting zoo itself uh just kind of just keep with the same theme and yeah making it look functional like it would be in real life you would need a fence there or you'd just fall over wouldn't you it's quite a steep hill and then here you can see me just digging around with these bricks here this wall 
And what I'm trying to do is trying to make like a little pass through. I don't know the technical name for it. You'll find it a lot in British countryside where like you, it's just like a step over. You can step over the wall. It's like a gap in the wall, uh, which, 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 which has been like man created, maybe a little wooden um, handrail. And it just gives the impression that you can step over the wall. And I actually don't know what it's called. It's probably has a technical name. I'm just going to call it stone gate. Right, adding the foliage. Now you see I've added another farm patch on the top as well. But foliage, I kind of went to town on this. You can also see I've dug, uh, well that's the foliage added, but you can also see I've um, used the decals to make it look like potholes. So like the the is the show in the cobblestone. You've just seen a little scene there with um, the, the water going through and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. We're going to make sure it's very high detailed and we're going to just bulk out this area with a lot of bricks. And by the way, if you're wondering what the hell that stone pillar um, argumentation mental masterpiece statue is on there that's my um, attempt to create stonehenge which is an iconic british um is it one of the wonders of the world i don't think it is the one of the wonders in the world i don't know maybe it is i don't know people said that aliens built it and stuff but it's like stone pillars in the middle of british countryside which no one knows how it's got there or who built it or why um i should have just looked that up on wikipedia i'm, I'm going to do that after i've recorded this voiceover video to get my facts right but yeah if you do know anything about stonehenge then leave in the comment section below i every day's a learning day teach me a few things about british history and monuments and stuff like that but yeah i don't know why i added it i just put it there for now i was just playing about i got a little bit bored with adding all this bloody bush and foliage work and rock work so i thought let's just add stonehenge i don't know if to leave it there or to change it let me know what you think in the comment section let me know by the way pretty much everything i build and this build at the end of it when i've completed the zoo will be on my steam workshop page the link is in the description down below because i do get asked quite a lot is this on the steam workshop page and most of the things i build are on the steam workshop page obviously stuff like this when it it includes paths and, and whole zoos is very quite difficult to put on the Steam Workshop page until it's actually complete as a full zoo and I can upload it as a zoo file. Got these lovely oak trees now and we're just playing about with different foliage. I'm just trying to see what works here and trying to like alter stuff and use different kinds of foliage, see what works, come back to it. If something's wrong, change it. That's what I always say. If you're not 100% happy with it, then don't have it. Um, and just creating little scenes here adding the bush along the wall as well I, I did look at some reference images of country lanes and stuff like that and that's what gave me the idea of the potholes um, just using the decal on the path just playing around with water now and trying to get the water to look like it would do in real life it just seemed a bit too bright so i kind of just doled it down a bit and then it was time to create those scenes what i've just showed you earlier and I, I did that by using this so this is the form now i'm not the best at water work and water features I'm, I'm, I'm not amazing there's much better creators out there on youtube than me but i do love this form and i like to use this form so it shows the current of the water which way um the water is traveling and again it just makes it look more realistic and we're going to add the waterfall top so it looks like the water is crashing against the rocks that's another big tip for me as well anywhere where the water would crash against the rocks add the um, the waterfall top piece you could five meter or ten meter it doesn't really matter just lining all the form up now i don't know why it's called form it's kind of like yeah well that's what it's called the water form um, effects i think it's called under the effects tab just layering on again with the waterfall top here so it looks like it's crushing on this pillar of rock what we're going to do now is start thinking about the other side so this is one side our um the right hand side came out looking i believe it is the right hand side we also added a water fountain here just very basic water fountain you know you all know how to add water to this pond and this lovely pond with like a fishing platform as well which i really enjoyed making and it's just just layering different reeds and different kinds of foliage and rocks using those four rocks out the aquatic pack once again to create a lovely pebbled look and then inside it was time to jump in the actual petting zoo itself and start adding all the decorations inside for this part we added some apple trees now obviously it's not a functional element in the game but it's something what you would find in a petting zoo isn't it like they can harvest the apples and sell them so we're going to add one two maybe even three trees here we're going to rotate them so they don't all look the same as well we've got a different kind of stuff and then obviously all the props need to go down so all the apples and the carts and the cardboard boxes which are carrying the apples some apples on the floor like they look like they've fallen or they've been left there by staff 
And then I created this lovely little pond. We've already got one pond at the start before you get in the zoo, um, like pre-zoo. So I wanted to create another cute little pond here in the zoo. And yeah, I just, I love putting any body of water in any kind of zoo, no matter what theme you're going with. And we went with the same theme with the, um, the barriers, what we already made. This is going to see this throughout the whole of the zoo, this barrier. It's just the, the new wooden um, poles, which is in the banyard pack and a piece of rope in between. And we're just going to layer um, these four rocks again and I've got a four leash tutorial if you do want to check it out as well like full like how I go about doing my foliage and basically you, I kind of just like separate stuff so you see I've got rock work and then I've got um, reeds so kind of like foliage rock work foliage rock work and different kinds of foliage and laying them down at different heights to give it that more realistic feel as well is a big tip from me just using the four rocks to complete this banking area and it came out looking like this. We added some lily pads and some little flowers here and there. And I'm really happy with it came out looking. And we've got a well in there as well. And we finished off the outside again with the same cobbled, um, the same kind of like stone wall. And then in between it, our custom made fence. And there we have it. We've done quite a lot of decoration to this zoo. A load of rock work and a load of foliage. And honestly, I am so happy how it came out looking. And I hope you are too. We have still got things we need to work on, like we need to get rid of Stonehenge, I think. We need to redo and redecorate this bridge, and we've got this vast open area here. Well, I need to think about ideas of putting something there. But hopefully me tackling this petting zoo with a British countryside theme has kind of helped you when it comes to theming and decorating your own zoos. If it has in any way or you just enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. My name's Adam. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next episode of Farmville Petting Zoo.